Hello, welcome to our second Ovalon Park Convention Center culinary session. My name is Gunawan Raharja. I'm the executive chef at the Ovalon Park Convention Center. I'm so excited to share and show you our selected recipe from our menu collection. This time, I would like to show you how to make vegetarian plate. One of the component is grilled polenta. I'd like to show you how to make the grilled polenta. Here we have olive oil, butter, onion, thyme, hot stock, instant cornmeal, salt, and grated parmesan. And also we have some garnishment of Italian parsley. First, we're going to uh, saute the onion. I have here hot pans, ready to go. I'm adding my onion and salt at the same time. I will cook this about probably one or two minutes. Don't burn the onion, keep stirring on it. Now, I'm going to add my hot stock and I'm going to bring this back to the stove. Now I'm adding my thyme. and I'll bring it up to a boil before I'm adding my cornmeal. Now I'm going to start adding my cornmeal to the liquid. Now I'm gonna drop the temperature and keep stirring the polenta for about probably 10 to 15 minutes. Now I'm going to add my grated Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to pour this on my sheet pan with parchment paper on, on the bottom. And I'm going to spread them out evenly. And I have this another layer to help me even, even out the uh, polenta. And I'm going to, put, to chill this so that the polenta sets so I can grill it. Now that I have uh, my polenta chill, I'm going to cut it into triangle. Now that, that I have uh, the polenta cut, I'm going to grill it on a flat top. I'm going to brown this one side and then I'm going to finish cooking it in the oven for about probably five minutes at 350 degrees of Fahrenheit. Now that I browned the polenta, I'm going to finish it up cooking in the oven for about five minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The next component for our vegetarian plate, it will be risotto. Here I have uh, risotto ingredients. I have uh, olive oil, butter, onion, garlic, arborio rice, white wine, grated Parmesan cheese, and on the stove, I have uh, chicken stock and also a heavy cream. Let's start with the uh, sauteing the onion and the garlic. I'm going to heat up the uh, oil and melt the butter. I'm adding the onion. I'm adding the garlic. 
it's gonna take about probably uh, two minutes or so. I'm going to add salt. I'm adding the rice now. I'm stirring the rice about probably uh, 30 seconds or so. I'm adding the white wine now. I'm gonna cook it for another 30 seconds. I'm adding the chicken stock a little at a time. Until the liquid almost evaporated. Don't forget to keep stirring, otherwise it's gonna, gonna get burned easily. Now I'm adding the uh, heavy cream. And I'm going to drop the temperature to simmer. This will take about probably five minutes. Stir constantly. Now I'm going to add the grated Parmesan cheese. The risotto is done. The third component that I have for the vegetarian plate, I have here yellow squash, zucchini, yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers, and asparagus. I'm going to grill this vegetable, but before I do that, I'm going to marinate it a little bit with the uh, balsamic vinaigrette. I'm going to color it with the uh, chopped parsley. Now I'm ready to grill the vegetables. This usually takes about probably uh, three minutes or so, but not more than five minutes. Now we're going to assemble the final dish. I have this uh, real yellow squash and zucchini. Also grilled asparagus. I'm going to start with the uh, grilled polenta. And then the risotto. And I'm going to arrange the grilled squash. I have here two different kind of pesto. And I'm going to garnish this with uh, rosemary. And I have uh, this is a shave of Parmesan cheese. And here's our final dish. I hope you try to cook and enjoy this dish at home. Thank you again for cooking with me. I truly enjoy my time sharing and cooking with you. Until next time.